Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. This one, we're back in chat, LLM teams, and holy smokes, they've shipped again. They can't stop shipping. I don't know what's going on over there, but they are shipping something new every couple days. Well, today, they've got AI video generation built into chat LLM teams, and it is fantastic. The videos you see behind me, all of them were created using Luma Dream Machine, and that's what they've integrated, and I'm gonna show you how to use it in just a few seconds. Let's go. All right, so here we are inside chat LLM teams, and you'll see here I've got a whole bunch of tabs open, and there's a reason for that, because I'm gonna show you a whole bunch of different things I did with chat LLM teams, just so you can see it. This is amazing. Look at this here. This one's a sailboat sailing across a rocky ocean. Okay, let's hit play, see what it looks like. Let's go ahead and hit play. I'm gonna make it a little bigger here. Look at this, this is amazing. This was done literally with one prompt. Here's another style I'm gonna show you. Look at this one here, animate the flames. Yeah, everything is fine. Look at this meme animation. Here we go. Let's start it at the beginning. Everything is fine. Oh, this is fine. It's not fine. Look at that. We animated the flames, as you can see right there. Another amazing thing we can do. This one here is an old school 1970s style uh, video from like the 70s. This guy's driving a taxi. Look at the quality of this when I open it up here. Let's go we'll start from the beginning. Look at this. This this is amazing, guys. I mean, that is absolutely wild. There's a little bit of morphing in the hands there, but if you don't get it 100% right, always keep in mind, you can just go ahead and redo it. And now this one's the favorite because I have a French Bulldog. And look at this one, French Bulldog and a rocket ship as an astronaut. Here's another final example, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that a little bigger. And look at this one here. Let's go ahead and increase the size. Look at that, we've got a perfectly realistic looking French Bulldog, the ears barely fit inside the helmet. It has the right number of paws on his little pawpaws there. He's got the right number of toe beans. This is incredible. Let's go ahead and take a look how I did it. All right, to get started, it's very easy. Just head over to Chat LLM Teams. The link is in the description below here, and then you'll get a couple options. The one you want to do, if you're new to it, is just click on Get Started. Before you click that button, though, keep in mind that this is only $10 per user per month. It is half the price of a single chat gpt4 license so for half the price you get access to all of the state-of-the-art llms and all the features and functionality you're going to see in this video and in my previous videos i don't know how they do it it's a steal of a deal but they do it so there we go click on get started we're going to load into the back end and now let's get cooking all right once you're logged in the first thing i like to do is i like to make sure that i'm on gpt40 here when you do that down at the bottom, you're gonna see a whole bunch of things. Image, code, playground, screenshot, PowerPoint generation. When I said they shipped, I meant it, they ship. Well, if you click on more, there's three more here that you can look up. And the one we wanna look at here is video gen. Select video gen and you're gonna get this cool video generation prompt. There are a bunch of different things we can do here. We're gonna start off with a simple one where you just type in what you want. So I'm gonna go French Bulldog, uh, astronaut, flying to the moon. I'm just having some fun here. And then let's go down a little further here. Now, keep in mind that if you are, if you have a very, very sophisticated prompt and you want to do like, you know, all that kind of stuff, go nuts. You can type in as much as you want here. I'm just keeping it simple because I'm going to show you another technique here to add to it. So here we go. We got aspect ratio. Now, this is pretty straightforward. One to one is great for Instagram. For example, it's basically a square, but my preference usually is 16 by nine. This is great for YouTube, and this is for regular YouTube videos, not the shorts. If you wanna do shorts, you can do 916. This is great for YouTube shorts and great for TikTok reels. And there are some other, you know, less conventional styles here as well, aspect ratios. But for this one, we're gonna go 169 standard YouTube type stuff here, and then bam, look at this. We can go enable to repeat the video seamlessly from start to end. I generally don't turn this on unless you're looking to do an animation that has a, uh, I guess, a loop to it, but most animations don't need that. And then here's the one that I tend to turn on, modify the input prompt for improved video generation results. This is basically gonna take your prompt and then give it some steroids. It's gonna add in some more subtlety, it's gonna add in some more adjectives and things like that. I'm gonna leave it off for now, but I want you to know that it's available. Also, start frame and end frame. We're gonna go into that in a second here, but if you have a specific image that you wanna start with or end with, 
this works for that too. So here we go, basic one to start, click on generate. Once you do that here, it says French Bulldog, astronaut flying to the moon, generating video may take up to two minutes. I find it usually only takes about 60 seconds, but just in case, I'm gonna come back when this is done, show you the first crack at it, and then I'm gonna show you some more advanced techniques. All right, welcome back. French Bulldog, astronaut flying to the moon. Let's see what we got, holy smokes. I can already tell you, this is amazing. Let's hit play here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and increase the size and look, oh my God, it's even got camera motion. It's got a smooth zoom in. We've got the moon in the background, guys. I'm a dog dad. I know what dogs look like. I know what I like. This is incredible. And also, if you wanna always see what the prompt was that was used, you can always hover over this eye here. And if you wanna download it as is, just click on this button here and I've downloaded. We are in business, guys. This is incredible. Let's look at now a little bit more advanced stuff right now. Let's go. All right, so a little bit more advanced here. Let's go ahead and click on new chat. I generally like to create new chats when I create new videos. Again, back down here, more. Then we're gonna go to video gen, and now, instead of typing in a prompt to begin with, well, let's go ahead and upload a starting frame. And for this one, we're gonna go with the this is fine meme. Yes, I'm just gonna drag and drop that right there and it's gonna open up This Is Fine. And for those of you that wanna see what it looks like, well, there it is, This Is Fine. <laughs> so there we go, we now have our starting frame. And this is a little different than before. Now, in the prompt, what I wanna do is I wanna animate the flames. So I want the flames to be animated, but not too much of the other stuff. And then finally, under aspect ratio, I mean, whatever works for you, I'm gonna go back to 16.9, but if you want it again, for a TikTok short, you might want to go to 916. And then here we go. We can go ahead and enable to repeat the video seamlessly from start to end. This you may want to consider if you're doing a looping generation and it would, might make sense to do it for the memes, but for this one, we're going to leave it off, but do note that it's there. And we can also modify the input prompt. So what that basically means is it's going to take this prompt and then make it, you know, a lot more detailed. We're not going to do that for this one here. So let's just go ahead now and click on generate. And now I'm going to show you in just a few seconds, how to animate your favorite memes inside chat LLM. This is awesome. All right, welcome back. So here we go, we've got animate the flames. Let's go ahead and hit play. All right, you can see the flames are animated. Let's go ahead and make that a little bigger. Hit play from the beginning. Look at this, this is fine. <laughs> the dog's just chilling like a villain and the flames are on fire. It has done a fantastic job. I tried the same thing previously and this was the other style that it gave me. So sometimes you get a version that you like or you don't like, just rerun it. Here we go, look at this one. This is fine. This is the one that has the eyeballs doing a little bit of what the F and a little bit of a, a zoom in with the camera angle. But overall, these are absolutely wild, guys. These are just some of the things you can do now with chat LLM teams. Start animating images. Start animating memes. Go ahead and type in some text prompts. Get some animations going. Create some B-roll Chat LLM, I mean, what can I say? Abacus AI is shipping something every week. And by the way, in the next couple of days, I'm gonna be covering another thing here called Root LLM or Route LLM, where it does smart routering. So I'm gonna show that to you in a few days, but there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. Ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.